What up YouTube, Big Lou with Big Lou East Coast Review. Today I'm here to do a nano coil. Nano coil is a tiny, tiny, tiny fucking coil wrapped around, it's just a, a, a piece of cantle wrapped around like something the size of a paper clip, which is basically about 1 16th of an inch. Now, I'm gonna be making a quad nano coil, okay? See how low of an ohmage I can go. Uh, the more coils we add with 26 gauge, the lower the ohmage becomes because there's less and less, less resistance because there's so much wire available at a thick gauge that the electricity just flows like lightning. So I'm gonna start off by burning some 26 gauge candle with a torch, okay? I've got my candle here already. As you can see how springy it is and jumpy. And I got my burns matic torch in hand. I'm just gonna raise the temperature and start cooking that wire. Now, as you hit it, look, it turns into a limp dick, the wire. See that? It just fucking dropped. Look at that shit. Limp cantle. I need some fucking Viagra for this wire. Okay. Now. All right. So that's done, All right? I'm gonna take the wire. Just run it through my fingers. Just running it through my fingers. All right, just to get that carbon off of there. Okay, and let's see. Now I'm gonna start doing wraps with it. Okay, I've got a one sixteenth of an inch rod here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a wrap. Now usually I do a starter wrap and then the actual coil. So I'm gonna be doing uh, eight wraps on this one. Right. So let's see. This is my starter wrap. I go big with the starter wrap just so I could hold it, you know, so you can see I got a wire under my thumb right there. And then I start the initial wrap. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's eight wraps right there. And I undo my beginner wrap. And this is my coil finished now the legs don't look so straight you know but whatever it works okay it's solid it's all closed off now that's eight wraps now I got to do another three more of these eight wraps okay so uh, all right you just what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna fast forward on super high fast forward speed like chipmunk speed through the next three coil builds and it's gonna be kind of funny sounding but you'll see me doing the builds okay <laughs> So we're going to check our homage. I'm just going to insert these in. I don't know if you really want me to show you how to do the insert, but I'm just going to do a quick tutorial. Just so you know, the outer posts here are the negatives. The center post is the positive. Just remember when you're putting your battery in your device, depending what kind of device it is, if it is a mech mod, nine times out of 10 on your mech mod, positive goes to the top and negative goes to the switch. So just remember, the positive is in the center, and on both sides of the center are your negatives. Okay, so positive here and negatives there. Two outer posts, negative. Center one, positive. Some RDAs are very different. Sometimes you have two positives and two negatives on the outsides. So you really have to look into what you're purchasing, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump ahead and do an install and go from there, okay? One minute. Okay, now you see my wires, you see my coils. I got a rod going through both coils on one side, and it looks a little chaotic, but don't be afraid. I got two rods over here pushing through. The initial rod that I made the build with, and another rod just to help me keep the coils straight. Okay, Thicker gauge wire, you need thicker holes, bigger holes on your RDA posts. See those holes there? I drilled them out. So you have to be sure the holes are thicker on your RDA post to use 26 gauge cantal. Rip trippers, Grim Green, you know, everyone out there who's doing 22, 24, 26 gauge cantals, you know, go easy. Start off with 28, 30, and 32. Then work your way down to less resistance and less homage, okay? It, the rest is just cleaning up the RDA now. Just tighten up the wires, 
you know, move your rods around, get your coils to be straight, and get rid of all these excess wires. I mean, look at that. It looks like Edward Scissorhands right there. It's just a mess of shit. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube. So I cut all my negative and positive legs off the RDA posts. You can see there's one leg wrapped around the negative post right there, basically. Okay? You can see I bent it to lean up against the negative post. Sometimes you can get close, sometimes you can only get so close to cutting the legs off. So be sure you don't cut the primary leg that's going through the post. You just cut the leg that's going out of the post that needs to get snipped. Now, if you look at my coils, you see they're at the same height. Okay, roughly about the same height. I did the best I could, basically. I slide a rod through both coils on both sides and just try and pull them up at the same height where I think the vent hole on my cap would be, okay? And I like using 1 16th gauge rod because I could simply still slide cotton through the coils, through both coils that are side by side with each other. Now, there's going to be a lot of people trolling this video saying, oh my god, those are the worst coils I've ever seen and blah 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 and this and that. And honestly, I don't really give a shit. Let them troll. Trollers are going to troll, and that's what they're there for. Okay? So, um, by looking at this, uh, I hope I didn't overcoil. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I, it looks like one coil is bigger than the other. But you know what? I don't really give a shit. Let's check the uh, homage on here. Let's see what we got. 0 0.17 ohms. Now, that is really low. All right? Now, it's not 1 ohm, it's 0 0.17. So it's like a tenth of an ohm, basically, or a twentieth of an ohm. Okay, now you can see over here, I have a leg. It's my negative leg right here. It's popping out. So I'm just going to take this and just push it up against the negative post. I don't like when they're popping out like that, because then they could possibly hit the... Um, the cap. Now I can see this coil right here, it's a little spaced out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my pliers and just give it a quick little squeeze. Not too much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on a mech mod and from there I'm going to heat up the coils and pinch them again. Okay, so just give me half a second to get a mech mod. Okay, so now I've got my coils on my mechanical mod, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change focus here real quick. Okay, that's good focus. And I'm going to stick my finger under my mech mod and I'm going to fire lightly. I'm just going to tap. We want to get an even glow of the coils from the middle out. So I'm going to let it cool off for a second. I'm going to tap it, letting them glow, letting them glow, okay. Now as they're glowing, I'm going to take my plier and just pinch, pinch, because believe it or not these coils are still fiery death hot. Okay, now they're all in unison from the inside out, from the middle out. See that? From the middle out. Okay. Now I'm going to put cotton in it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to take my cotton, which is right here, and I'm going to break a little piece off. Just pull it apart, and then I'm going to sit there... I kind of knead it in my hands, you know, kind of roll it, you know, it has to be a very small amount because the holes on here are minuscule and it has to be able to fit through the cotton and I don't want it to get stuck in there. So I'm going to peel some cotton away. I need a really fine thread of cotton to pass through. Okay, look at that, I got it through. Smallest amount. Okay, now I pull, 
and pull and pull till it stops okay and I take my cotton and I just tuck it under tuck it under so all I'm gonna do is tuck it under because this coil at 0 0.17 gets fiery death hot and I want a lot of cotton in there simply because I want a lot of juice in there so I can keep the fire down the molten lava fire of extreme heat you know you know the cotton if as long as it's wicked it'll be good it'll be fine and look at that got a nice little cloud for it to sit on there you have it now I take my snips and I get rid of a piece of cotton there and there you have it so that's one side wicked Okay, so once you got your cotton in on that side, pull it through, go back and forth. If you got too much cotton building up on one side, just try and tear little pieces of cotton off where it bunches up so you can get it to come through. I know I'm doing this off camera, sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to take this cotton, tuck it under. I know that I have enough cotton going through my coils for me to be satisfied. Okay, so there we have it. Cottoned up. Not bad. Quad coil at 0 0.17 ohms. Pour right on the top, because when you do your drips from the drip tip, they sit right at the top. I let it run off. I don't care if it runs off for now, I'll just clean it up. Because the cotton still needs to get saturated with the e-liquid. I just put a whole mess of liquid on there just to get the cotton wicked because even the cotton underneath still needs to get wet you may not see it but it's there it's underneath and it'll be dry so I like to get everything wet and then tuck the cotton in so it's away from the edge now this is just my personal preference you don't have to do this this is my preference that's it Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that chucks vape. All right, so gonna zoom out. All right guys, so now we're back, we're gonna do the vape test on this device. Now I've just juiced it again one more time, okay? And I'm gonna show you up close and personal the build. That is our build, fully juiced. It is the build that we had just done. You see juice dripping. Now, I'm going to hit the button. You can see clearly it's vaping like a madman. 0 0.17 sub ohm. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my still air cap, just put it in between the two coils on both sides. Okay. Do your best you can because this hole is only so wide. Thick, dense, hot clouds of vape. Now, if, let's just say, you don't want to do 0 0.17, well, I only did 8 wraps, right? 8 wraps, uh, I'm assuming 8 wraps in this sense is... 8 ohms because you have one coil and another coil that are 8 wraps right so 8 on one side 8 on the other so that means it comes out to 4 right and then 8 on the out on one side and one 8 on the other side that means now we just deduced it by another 2 so we're roughly at point uh point two zero ohms roughly you know, just a roundabout there if let's say you have a coil at 10 ohms, you do one style wrap on one side and it's 10 ohms and you put that same style wrap on the opposite side to make it a dual coil, now you're at five ohms, okay? Five. 
you'll be at five ohms at that point. But if you're at five ohms at that point and you do another um, style wraps and add another two more coils, now you're at 0.25 ohms. So if you have a quad coil, you're at 0 0.4, uh, 0.25. The less wraps you do, the less resistance there's going to be with 26 gauge cantle or any cantle for that matter. The more wraps you do, the more resistance you're building. Okay, but the more coils you add on there, the more coils you're you're putting on your device, you end up having the homage. That's how it's worked out for me so far. Clouds are dense, insane. And the flavor is just explosive. So if you're a newbie vapor, you don't have to jump into quad coils. But I wanted to show you guys a quad coil build. Because I don't think there's many people that have instructed quad coils. I just wanted to finish off with a closing note. Okay. Sub-ohm builds on rebuildable dripping atomizers. Understand for a newbie, my recommendation for you is get 28, 30, and 32 gauge canthol. Those are higher resistance wires. They're thinner wires. Therefore, when the electricity hits those coils, they're not rushing through as fast. Now, guys like Rip Trippers are building uh, coil builds and they inspire a lot of people. They have 100,000 subscribers. So understand, I don't really hear these guys talk about um, how newbies should be using 28 30 and 32 gauge cantle those guys are using 22 24 and 26 gauge cantle because they know what they're doing do not copycat the gauge cantle that they're using be smart start with high resistance wire and then gradually make your way down the ladder to lower resistance wire get the knowledge get an ohms calculator you could download it on your iphone or your android phone it's a free application it's an ohms law calculator okay and be smart you know just have a knowledge or an understanding that you're new and the lowest ohmage you should be at is 0 0.50 is like the absolute lowest and then work your way up from you know anywhere between 1.2 to 0 0.50 that's it if you're in a 0 0.40 build undo the build start over do more wraps of your wire and increase the homage okay if you're very new to rda building and i know everybody want everybody wants to blow big clouds and everything and it's fun but you'll get there give it a little time you don't have to jump all the way at the very end okay be smart don't be stupid Get a get yourself an ohm meter. This is highly important for people doing rebuildables. Do not build coils if you do not have this device. That is the most honest and best in, uh, advice I can give anybody. Okay, so please get an ohm reader and be smart. Don't be stupid. Be safe. Start with high resistance wire. Work your way down. That's it. Peace out. Vape happy. Latest.